Congratulations. 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 Just had graduation. That's awesome. So. I had a graduation. I had to wake up at like around four in the morning to get ready to go because my graduation rehearsals were like around six forty-five. I had to be there like before seven, so I had to be on time. I had to run all the way here to um, to NYU. I thought I was going to be late before. I never thought I would be able to like learn how to like interview someone or anything like that. Because I always wonder how you interview someone famous or like how you don't how you don't get nervous when you interview someone famous. Well, I'm Mr. Felson. Um, you can call me Mr. Felson. Uh, I teach ninth and 10th grade uh, history at the Avenue School here in, uh, in Manhattan in Chelsea. Um, but I'm also a soccer player, played soccer in college. I coach. Um, I spend way too much time watching soccer and caring about soccer. Um, and I wanted to like, like thank you guys for wanting to be a part of this, like that you are you <laughs> graduated today. Um, that's ridiculous. And that you guys are you know, willing to spend your time this summer to learn something, um, to learn from me, learn from each other, learn from the city, right? To learn from the game, all those things, it's great. It's um, how did you get into soccer? Right? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I was I was like played when I was little back in Ghana. Like everybody used to play, we used to have like a little bit, like a little community where like everyone would come out and like play and just have fun. Like that was like the park for us. So like, that's what like I fell in love with soccer because I, I used to play my friends and family. And you love soccer so much, and you might get the chance to you know interview some players. Yeah. So what is that for you? Is it exciting? Uh, is uh, yeah, it is very, it is very exciting. That's one of the parts that I can't wait to. I can't wait for it to happen. Uh, I don't know, when time comes, I don't know what might happen. Uh, I may be nervous like, like I am right now. So like, I, would, I may be nervous, but like this program, uh, the, doing the reporting and stuff like that, I think I'll be well prepared and not be that nervous as I am right now and be able to like speak louder and clearly for the players to understand me and be able to actually meet people that I see on TV, see them in person and be able to communicate with them and get a response from them like 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 an actual reporter who does this work yeah the impact that i hope to get out of this is to launch 10 or 12 young minds into the world with new tools of personal and professional expression tools of expression where they can communicate effectively who they are and what they see and what's important to them in a way that maybe other modes of communication aren't working for them. The second thing that I'd like to see is soccer as a prism, as a filter, a lens for these young people to stand on in order to deliver their stories the stories about their kitchens, the stories about their communities, um, the stories about all kinds of things that make up who they are, which makes up who New York City is. So how are we going to interview the camera? Good morning, NYCFC fans. How are you doing today? Good. That's very good. So we're here live at, at NYU. We're talking with the one and only fans of NYCFC, what would you like to say, Kimberly? Um, how long have you been part of NYCFC and um, what's your favorite player um, of the club? Ah, I see. Good job. So, we are here, we're walking down the hallways, we're trying to mess up on purpose. I don't know how that's possible. I think you just did. <laughs> yeah. We got off topic. Anyways, goodbye. Well, I got a chance to meet him. I came back from the Chicago game, and that afternoon got a chance to meet him, meet them, and that, that really uh, it inspired me because you could see how enthusiastic they were. They were uh, they had already prepared some things for me to listen to, so 
Uh, I'm, I'm really, uh, it's an honor and a privilege really uh, to work with a, a bunch of young people who are, uh, you can tell, highly motivated, highly intelligent, they love soccer, they're interested in this broadcast thing. So to be able to just kind of show them a little bit about what it's all about and give the chance to, to do a segment every week for the next month on Soccer City is, is awesome. So I'm, I'm having fun with it and uh, really privileged. I don't even know, man. Whew. <laughs> no worries, no worries to express it, man. No worries. Wow. This is a dream. I want to play on the field. I want to play one day here, man. Wow. I feel like a professional player right now. <laughs> You nervous? Nah. Hello, my name is Serene Sugu and I am reporting for NYU Soccer Radio and Social Entre Entrepreneurship. And I want to know what was going through your head at halftime and what was your message to the players? No, the message, uh, I repeat, uh, the, uh, my message uh, was uh, we have to change a little bit, especially when we play with uh, two uh, strikers. <laughs> Well, I'm Ferris Hyman and I'm here with Sean Johnson. So how and why did you start playing soccer? Yeah, I started playing. I just found love in the game. Uh, my parents are from Jamaica, so it was kind of in the, the cultural background. Um, and I uh, saw my dad play every weekend and got excited about it, run around, kick around, and then finally just asked if I could play organized soccer. So. So I have to be able to figure that out myself. Once I think we can get like soccer as a sport out to the New York community. And I was beautiful, you know? They made the job easy for us. This is what we're supposed to do. This is what, this is exactly the kind of access and opportunity that we are supposed to offer if our academy and our team is going to rise, if our city is going to rise. Um, we can never just look at our roles in a silo. If we interconnect, if we are interdependent, and if we join together to fix problems, we are going to go a lot further uh, than if we're only narrowly thinking about how to fix our own house. You know, this is intensely a New York City project. I am grateful to the mayor's office for seeing how enriching this can be for the city of New York, uh, for soccer and NYCFC, um, and for NYU uh, to be a responsible partner in education at all levels. So that's, you know, that's what I see as uh, what we're doing, what we're supposed to do. I think um, this process has helped me a lot. I've learned many things, especially like I think one of the biggest things I've learned was to like speak out and be able to have like learn using our voice and just kind of that.